two areas of the market flashing warning signs. WTI crude closing at its lowest level since last December. It is now just a couple of dollars away from dropping below $70 a barrel. And rates also on the move lower. The spread between the three-month and 10-year yield, the most inverted it's been in nearly 22 years. For more on what this is signaling, let's turn to former Federal Reserve Vice Chair Roger Ferguson. Roger is also a CNBC contributor. Roger, welcome to the show. Great to see you. Thanks. Nice to be here, Melissa. It, it seems like these two things, these two asset classes, are, are telegraphing a recession. Where do you stand on that? Look, I think the asset classes are, in fact, as you say, telegraphing a recession. Um, what's relevant to this is uh, it's not just those markets that are doing that, but there are a number of CEOs who are saying that. I myself have said for a period of time that a recession seems highly likely. Uh, and so I think it's all lining up. With, and the question is, is this going to be a short and shallow recession or maybe one that's a little deeper or maybe last a little longer? Is that a big question mark in your view or do you have a point of view on that in terms of short and shallow or, or deeper? I'm looking at short and shallow because the economy is showing so much momentum going into the economy with job markets still very tight um, that it seems like there's just a lot of forward uh, progress and that's not a condition for a very, very deep recession unless there's an unexpected shock. Roger, it's Tim. Thank you for joining us. As always, my question to you is on the inflationary impact of the labor market. Uh, I think there are some that believe that the labor numbers are, are inflated uh, and that actually the, the job market, at least in terms of some of the pressure here, um, may not be as strong. Can you talk about that? Because uh, some of the GDP numbers we looked at showed that some of the tax receipts were lower, et cetera. Is the labor market cooling faster than maybe the numbers suggest? I don't think the labor market is cooling faster than the numbers suggest. I think what is happening is that we see a very uneven economy. So some sectors that are very interest sensitive, housing most obviously, uh, clearly slowing down quite dramatically. Some sectors that had a big pop um, after the opening after COVID are seeing year over year, over year growth slowing. So I don't think the issue is the labor market um, data being inaccurate in some way or the market cooling faster than we expect. I think it's really just much more that there are many different sectors that are being impacted quite differentially uh, at this stage. Roger, the road to 2 percent, I think it's going to be somewhat longer than, than the market gives it credit for. I guess my point is everybody's looking for the Fed to pivot or pause. That might be the case, but I think the duration with which they leave rates at these levels might surprise people to the long side. How do you sort of uh, size that up? I agree with you completely. What I find interesting is that uh, Chair Powell has talked about getting rates higher and keeping them there longer, and yet the market still seems to be holding out hope for, for you know, a pivot. Um, and so I think there is a disconnect. It's been going on for some time. The next meeting will tell us uh, quite a bit, I think, and there will be a press conference. So first we'll see at the next meeting whether or not the so-called dot plots, the, uh, the, the summary of economic projections, uh, show the terminal rate that's uh, significantly higher, only slightly higher than the last one. And then we'll hear in the press conference, I think, a reiteration of an expectation that markets uh, may be uh, underestimating the time that it's going to take for the Fed. Uh, to uh, turn to a pivot, so to speak, or how long it's going to keep rates higher. So I think I'm fully aligned with you. The market, I think, is maybe a little too optimistic about a rapid, rapid pivot here because inflation really does seem to uh, be uh, pretty embedded.